Greetings, boys and girls. This is Dr. Von Matt. I turned off the sound on it this time because, uh, the music, because it was interfering with the way the thing was running. So, uh, welcome back to the sapling, and I'm going to, we're going to start creating some stuff. First thing let's do, let's turn on the random mutations. I'm not going to turn it up all the way, because I'm going to be building a little more complete than I normally would. Normally, I, I try to start in the sea and see what I can get, but I... I find that my chances of getting any life forms to come on land besides plants is kind of nil. So, let's start with our plants. So I'm going to go with something in the deep sea. It says the color's wrong and I know what's going on there. Let's go ahead and put a hold fast on it because I suspect that my currents are not going to be great. And I was right. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and put these in the deep waters. These are going to be these are open sea algae, so they're kind of more like kelp. So it's more like a kelp bed. Now, okay, we're also going to need a creature that can live in the deep sea and make use of this. Um, I'm going to let the predators figure themselves out. But. And I'm going to try to make a more shallow type algae too. Now, let's make us a creature to live in and among the kelp beds. Now, what eats kelp? Well, we know manatees eat kelp, but they're like, and we need something that's going to be a little bit heftier. So we're going to go with that. Let's put some big old flippers on the front of it. And let's put a big fishy tail on the back end of it. If I can get that fishy tail, there we go. Now we're going to put a minor fin right up here. Let's go over here. Grab something that we can put that can eat kelp. Do I need hearing? Nah, well, maybe. We'll put some simple ears on top of its head. Now, let's put some eyes. It's, doesn't need to be able to see too good. Now, go ahead and give it scales. We're going to turn it. Also, kind of a black color as well, because I want it to be able to blend in with its environment. Now, and let's see if it can survive. Yes, it can. So, apparently, it can also survive up into the shallows, which I find interesting. That I want it to. Now, we'll probably run it for about 250 years and let it get acclimated to its environment. And it'll also cause a few random mutations that we can bounce off of. Put a few of these in. Herbivores tend to be at the bottom of the food chain along with plants, so this will be our first order consumers. <clears throat> Alright, now let's go ahead and roll that beautiful bean footage. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we got. And hopefully it didn't extinct. Okay, so we have a profusion of plants now. Let's see, do we have any plants today? No, no, no we don't. But we have a variety of these guys. Let's see what we got. We've got one that's now breathing air. I find that interesting. That one's kind of developed more of a lungfish type feel. That one's developed an omnivorous lifestyle. Let's see, we got a filter feeder, got a carnivore. I knew that was going to happen eventually. And we got something that apparently can crawl around on the sea floor. Now, okay, so now let's build on land. What 
sort of plant do we need on the land? Now, I've created some seasons, so we'll have to see what comes. So, we'll have to first add some fruit. Let's see. And we'll put the fruit at the top today. Or maybe not, I'll move it down some. Fruit wants to jump around. Okay. Okay, now let's put some... I have to figure out what sort of leaves work. So we'll start up on the more primitive leaves and see what comes, see what, see what it is expecting of us here. So we'll just go with the basics and let's see if it allows us to put these anywhere. Okay. And so far, I would say that it doesn't like it. The wind strength is too strong and the temperature is too warm. Okay. Expected that. Expected that. Okay. Let's rid ourselves of the leaves. Let's try these little tubes. I'm pretty sure I said 40 degrees, so we know that's going to be too little. 20, 20, 60. That's a little too much, but let's see what else they got. 20, 30, 40. Let's try these big ones. These big broad brim lolly pad leaves and not only that but it'll provide a nice shade so now let's see if that works and let's see do we have anything these don't like the ground not the groundwater, the wind strength still. Okay, so we need something that can survive better in the wind. Okay. Let's look at the windage. It needs to survive more wind strength. So it's going to have to be 40 degrees and survive the wind. Now these can survive the wind. So... Uh, that's probably what we're going to end up having to go with. Which tends to be most of the time the case, to be honest. Alright, let's see what these do. These are more like palms. <laughs> yeah, see what I mean? Alright. So let's put these little plants all over the place. And then we'll figure out what sort of critter needs to live here. plenty of I want these little palms everywhere okay now let's see what kind of ant land animal we need all right so we're gonna start like this three segments because I like that now, let's put some weird little feet on this guy. And go with the bare minimum for being able to breathe on land. And heat loss. We need something with a fair amount of that. So I'm going to give him big old Mickey Mouse ears. Oh, he's lost his eyes. Hang on. There we go. There we go. What an odd creature. Now, go to traits. Make him a live bearer. So, but we might want to give him some coloration. Let's give him some striation here. 
and let's make him green. So he can blend in with his surroundings. Now let's see if he can survive anywhere. Let's see, the temperature is what's killing him here. So he doesn't have enough heat loss. So we're going to have to give him a bit more heat loss. So let's see here. We'll put a spine on his back. There we go. Oh, it says it would be pregnant for half its lifespan. <laughs> Alright, it's going to have to be an egg layer. It still says it would be pregnant for half its lifespan. <laughs> Great, I made triple. Now, let's see if it can survive. In limited numbers. But that's okay. We'll give them some room to grow. These weird little hairless mouse egg layer thingies. I'm not even sure if there would be a natural corollary for it. If there is, guys, write it in the comments below. I think I've got the comments turned on. I'll try to make sure we get it. I know on that last one I had a little trouble with the comments. Because they wouldn't let me turn the comments on for some odd reason. But I definitely want to hear what y'all have to say on it. Alright. I think I just threw them in the water. Sorry about that. Alright. Now. <clears throat> let's see what happens after 250 years. When extinct because there's not enough room to grow. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. Let's see what survived. Because I have a feeling all my land animals died out. I've had terrible luck with that. I'm good with fish. Awful with land animals. Alright, let's see what we got for plants today. Turn off that. We have a new, type, we have a new champion that's got these weird oak leaves going on. Nice profusion of plants, actually, all things considered. Alright. Animals, let's see what we got. A lot of fish. But, yep, predicted it. It killed off the land animals. Okay, so we gotta build something else. Obviously, that didn't work. So, what do we need? What went wrong? I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do this. Add a little bit longer. Now, I'll come in with these weird little feet again because ah, it jumped. I'll give it some weird little feet. Ah. Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, now. Let's go with something more of a dedicated herbivore mouth. Still need something for heat loss. But I may have another way around that. Let me check something. Let's try that first. Now let's give him some proper eyes. Now we're gonna go over here and we are gonna give him some. Some things here. Give him these little osteoderms on his back to kind of maybe uh, act as a radiator. Now, let's color him up here. Let's give him that same sort of pattern. Let's go over here and make him green also. I haven't learned anything from the coloring, so <coughs> try these lizards and see what happens. Eat. Okay, like the temperature. Okay. Um. 
Let's try that. Change out the skin and see what that does. It may be letting off too much heat. Let's see. The temperature of what? Let's see. So. Let's see what's going on. I may have to drop one of these off of the, the little plates off its head. Because I think what it is is it's maybe getting too cold. Let's see. It's amazing how one thing can just change everything. Mr. Stoop did a tremendous job on this game. Okay. No. Nope. So we're going to have to figure something else out. Hmm. Got some ideas. Go over here. Let's do this. This will Getting to turn around. That would be great. No. Okay. I'm going to try something. Okay, let's try that. Let's see what that does. I'll have to keep tinkering with it. Oh, we can test it and see what he does after a, after 250 years. Which actually might not be a bad idea. Put him over here by the beach. Apparently I've made a marine iguana. There. See what happens after 250 years. I'm just curious. on land. Alright. I figured that end up happening. Oh, we still got a few survivors. Fascinating. I've got marine iguanas. Let's take a look. Let's see what we got going on. So apparently we do in fact have marine iguanas. Let's see here. Still a fusion of these fish. We have Iguanas. Does that thing got a different mouth or is it the same? That one's got a weird eye. That one's just a bit of eyes. Let's see what this one looks like up close. I think they're, they all look the same at a distance. It's hard to tell anything until you get up close. So let's examine it and see what we got. No, looks like, huh, ain't that interesting. Hmm. Now let's try this again. If they survive, that means they're uh, adaptation. So let's see what happens if we do it again. I mean, they're actually surviving pretty well. In small numbers. Let's see what happens. Okay, now we've got some stuff that's probably dead. Let's see what we got going on. So they move time. Let's see. Turn that off. Let's see what the most common is. It's this rather generalist feeder. But it's got a hit, so hey, we still have one of these dudes left. We won't last very long. Let's see. Let's hit it with another 250 years. The only complaint I've got about this game is that the more stuff shows up on here, it slows down the whole game. I don't know, it's a fairly new computer, so I shouldn't be doing that, but 
you know, it's not, it's not his fault. What's that right here? We have something, we have something crawling around on land. That is interesting. Let's see what we got. I can't see anything. We're gonna have to hop out. Let's zoom back out. So we can see what's going on because I cannot. I have quite a few plants coming up. But I think the lizards are gone. Let's see. We've got a nice assortment of plants here. Tall trees are starting to look like the forest, maybe like the carbon efforts or something. Like the coal forest or something. Alright, let me see what we got now. Huge amount of fish. I think we'll call this video Help Up Step. Yep. Are the fish are the only animals left, so we're gonna get something else. You know, we'll get Let's check out this tree. I've got to see. I'm betting that thing is huge. That looks like it's maybe hit the upper end of what these things are capable of. So let's see what kind of weird, huge fern trees we're getting. Let's see if I'm actually. Let's see the size of this dude. Oh, it's medium sized. It's not quite there. Okay. We're going to try one more species on land and see if we can get something to survive. I've got to trick up my sleeve. As soon as it opens up, I'm going to try something. Because I've got a species that usually works pretty well in most environments. I keep in my back pocket. For this such an occasion. We're gonna see if it works here. Okay. Okay. feet. Come on, give me the feet. Thank you. Now, let's go over here. Pig mouth. I know this is, this is an odd something with some proper uh, heat loss. Come on, let go of the controls. Do not put ears on my creature's butt. Alright, now. Now, it looks like a demented fraggle. <sighs> Let's see what we can do. to help him with the regulation. Over here, let's give him eggs, cover him in scales, give him a splotchy color, and I want to give him a fairly light color. Or a fairly dark color. There we go. That way he doesn't burn in the sun. Taking a cue from races that live close human races that live closer to the equator. Now, because I didn't put any hair on him. I didn't give him any body covering. Because it's apparently a fairly arid environment. And he's got much more coverage now. This body design, by the way, is excellent for a lot of things. Uh, as simple as it is, as tricky as it looks. It's actually a fairly good design. Um, you know, because it doesn't have to adapt a whole lot to be good at where 
where it's at. I've noticed this. We've got some trees growing in the water. Let's see what happens after 250 years now. <clears throat> This will probably be the last one, so because I'm going to be 25 minutes in, I don't want to go drag y'all's patience. But I will save it, and we might try it again. Okay, we've got some desertification going on here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what's going on with our species here. Come on. There it goes. Okay, we've got a few creatures left on land, but very many. Let's see what we got. This is a harsh environment. I was going to tell you, this is a hostile environment. Well, we got this guy who was still around. There's still a bunch of him still roaming about. That's pretty well close to what I'd put on here. Let's see. There's another one. I might go another 250 because I'm within 30 minutes, but. Uh oh, that little spinny ring of doom, that problem. Okay, we got it though. Zerbicus. And Dentodacus. What's fun is when you try to use the English to Latin, or the tra Latin to English translator on some of these, and some of these names are really funny. I know he said he wanted to make them sound like Latin species names, but sometimes they actually do have meaning, and that just makes it even funnier. Because sometimes it's completely the opposite, or has nothing to do with the creature. Uh, he had one himself, I think he did a the name, but it actually meant slow down, and the creature was slower than Christmas, and I thought that was it. He, he was, you know, strange on the nose. Okay, you see, we're actually starting to get some bigger creatures. Let's see this big guy for a second. Xantacus, or Xandicus, what a name. Now, let's see what he looks like, and we'll call, probably call that a day on this one, put this one in the can. I'll probably save it, I might do another video tomorrow. Let's see what we got. He actually got a little bigger. Let's see, see, he grew a little bit. I I started at that smaller size, and he's grown now. He's lost the scales, but and the pattern. He's retained that skin color, which means that it's that's actually working. As are the measures to for heat loss. That set of that set of tools in his mouth is actually doing the job that it's supposed to do, and the bipedal body design hasn't changed drastically. So I would say we've hit a home run. So, if you're playing this game, you could do a lot worse than this design. Anyway, this is Doctor Von Mad, and. I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to follow us and like us and subscribe and all that good stuff. And if you get a chance to go find this game, it is on Steam. Go look up the sapling. This is really well worth it. All right. Well, bye-bye. See you all on the flip side.